What made you guys feel so confident about it? Because you guys didn't even win your division that year. Well, and we up, didn't win. We didn't win. The point: There's never been a wherever the state the Super Bowl was hosted. Yeah. yeah. No teams ever, ever won it in their own stadium. Right. right. Yeah. But then it was just we, we got just, we got to a point where we couldn't lose. Like our last eight games, we couldn't lose. Like if we lost a game, we wouldn't make the playoffs. Yeah. And we won like we won like eight straight. Right, and it was just I remember like, the Saints beating y'all pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. So like we had a, like a, a playoff mentality like round week thirteen, week fourteen. Like every game we must win. Like that's that's the mentality we had. So like we came back from the bye week. So like after the bye week, it was like oh shit, we got because we lost to the Chiefs. Chiefs, and then Chiefs, we had a bye week. Yeah, and then we had the bye week, and like after that, it was just like you know every game here on we were seven to five. Yeah. So like it was like every game here on out, like we have to win to make the playoffs, and like that just was our mindset. And like as it got closer and closer towards the end of the season, we kept telling him like we're gonna make it for you, we're gonna make it for you. Cause we knew his plan his plan, what his plan was to try to come back. So And it was crazy because like the first our first the wild card playoff game, yeah, we played against the Redskins and we won that. We beat the them. Now, you know. And we had the, the <laughs> commanders. Was a close game too. Yeah. Commanders yeah. Bad. yeah. And then we had a uh we played the Saints. And like since since I've been here, we like never beat the Saints. Yeah. And that was like they killed us. Twice that year, Twice and year. it was just like, if we get past them, we're gonna win, and that's how we knew that we beat them. And that was like the only team like in our division we couldn't like get over. That was the hump, mm -hmm. and we we beat them, and it was like right then and there, we're like we're gonna win. And that was like the next week was the NFC Championship in Green Bay. Yeah. That was like the, my first week back. Mm -hmm. First week back. And it was just, you played majority of the snaps. I was supposed to be on snap count, and then next thing you know, I'm. In there for like the whole series. <laughs> I was looking, yeah, I was like, a Super Bowl. Yeah. You, you'd think, like, I was working out, running, doing cardio, but like, all that stuff doesn't prepare you for like your football cardio. Yeah, so, like, yeah. nothing you could do could get you in football shape. And now I was just out there, I was like, it was cold as hell out there. Yeah, yeah. It was freezing, it was like little snow out there. Yeah. So, like, when that cold air hits your lungs, it's like, bro, I can't breathe. <laughs> it was like, I, as much as I wanted to stay out there, like, and play the, the whole series, I kept subbing myself out. And I was like, I'm not. <laughs> in good enough shape because I only ran for like I was only running for like two weeks leading up to it so I was just like I can't <laughs> yeah man like, they were making fun of me <laughs> yeah they were like they were making fun of me like the strength staff were making fun of me it was like the first time I ran I was like I couldn't breathe because you gotta think about in Tampa the humidity all this this mm -hmm. and that and the heat like the first time they made me run on the field, like I couldn't breathe for nothing. They kept making fun of me. They gotta stop smoking Newports. <laughs> and I, that was a joke. And I was like, yeah, I'm about to go smoke a Newport. This and that. But that was that was a crazy, yeah. crazy year. But then when we got to when we beat Green Bay, we went to the Kansas City week, and it was just two weeks. You had two weeks before mm -hmm. Super Bowl, and then like we we practiced, and from our practice facility, you could see the stadium. So that was like built up motivation because you could see them. Setting everything up. Every time you're driving in, you're seeing like Super Bowl stuff even being built. A fire, fire practice facility. Um, Bears. And then all you see, that's all you see two weeks leading up to it. Two weeks leading And we finally got the game plan. It was just like, this was like nothing yeah. we ever, nothing <laughs> no, yeah. we ever seen before. <laughs> yeah. And it was just crazy. Like nobody questioned anything. It was just like, once we seen the game plan, it was just like, that boosted our confidence to like a next level. Yeah. What about like, the game plan? Yeah. It boosted your confidence so much. It's basically we knew everything they was doing. Yeah. Like we basically. So like, if you look back to the first time we played them in the first during the regular season, yeah, right regular before season. your bye. Yeah. Yeah. When we played them, they beat us in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They scored like twenty one points in the first quarter, and that was like the only time they scored. Yeah. And then for this whole second half, they didn't score any points, and we almost came back and yeah, won. We were, yeah. The final score was twenty seven twenty four. Yeah. And we was getting our ass hit like 21 zip. Yeah. Yeah, Tariq had like three touchdowns like back to back to back. And it was just, after that, we corrected it. And so when we came back in Super Bowl, we knew what they were going to do. And like the coverage they came out with. Yeah, it was, it was just like a different, lot of like a lot of different looks. Like they had been in this formation, we would check this coverage. And when they motioned over and stuff, we would check us another coverage. Mm -hmm. Like it was just, they didn't know we was in zone, we was in man, we was in quarter quarter half like it was a whole bunch of stuff but like everybody was confident in it and then like it was one of those games where like we came in and he basically said like when you say like d-line y'all got the run game basically like y'all take care of the run game and uh and then we gonna we gonna win the game and like like the confidence bowl had kind of like bowls had kind of like instilled the confidence in us and like when we looked at the, the thing I'm like this type of football we and like that to was, play right that now. was our biggest thing because like our biggest thing is 
our run defense mm-hmm. and like stopping the run. That's like what our D line yeah. is known for. And that's like what we try to hang our hat on, like stopping the run. Dang. And that was like the <laughs> that was the thing. It was like it was like they're not gonna beat us on the ground. So we're gonna we're gonna take that away early. Yeah. We're gonna make Patrick Mahomes beat us. And that was the biggest thing. It was just like That's a big statement saying we're gonna make Patrick Mahomes beat us. Yeah. Like the pass rush was on fire that game that Bro, night. I mean I remember what? watching that game, but he had a few tackles out too, right? The yeah. Eric he Fisher did. tore his Achilles yeah. in the AFC Championship he's game. He's trying to make a lot of those wild throws, which he's wild yeah. throws, which he low key yeah. almost made. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. did. Those, yeah. those, those. Don't get me wrong. Those plays, those throws that he was making was crazy. <laughs> you can, there's yeah. even memes with like right after there's like people trying to recreate it. It was yeah. like, how the hell he do this? Yeah, it was, it was yeah. insane. It, it is dope. massive when guys like yourself can take out Travis Kelsey. It was mad. Oh. I mean, it was just, uh, like yeah, I said, like yeah. A, I'm it obviously was, complimenting yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, 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 But Because you have you Travis like, watches. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? But I'm saying that that was, like, yeah. massive. Like, it you was, were in there, like, you yeah. were being highlighted. Like, yeah. you were, when mm-hmm. you can cover somebody like a yeah. Travis Kelsey one-on-one, yeah. um, that's, it, it's big because it frees right. people up to, you know, take care of the deep end with right, Tyreek right. Hill and I remember, all the backyard yeah. plays that are happening. I remember leading up to the game, like, I kind of, like, had a little hamstring injury. Like, and it was kind of, like, holding me out of practice that first week. And, like, I just remember, like, obviously hearing the media saying, oh, once I got a hamstring injury, I think he going to be able to, you know, match up with with this guy or whatever. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm good. You know, like, it's a challenge. You know what I'm saying? It's basically, like, best on best. You know, I got a lot of respect for Travis Kelsey. He's a great football player, obviously. But, like, in the Super Bowl, when you get challenged like that by your coaches and your coaches believe in you, and, like, I'm the older guy on the team, a lot of people – you know, look up to me and stuff like that. Like, I got to I gotta answer the challenge. You know what I'm saying? So whenever my number was called to guard him one-on-one, man-to-man, I'm like, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to study everything he do and, like, wherever he line up at, figure out his routes and stuff like that and just try to, you know, take take him out the game as much as I can whenever, I, whenever I'm lined up against him. And, you know, it worked out to my benefit. How many times in that game were you one-on-one with him? Man-to-man, probably about seven, eight times maybe. Enough times to make you sweat. For sure. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, yeah. when you're yeah, covering because like, he's got so much length, sometimes it's not yeah. even about like you yeah. can be locked up on him and he's yeah. able to just make a play because he's Yeah, and he, he's and elusive. Top of that, they had Tariq and McCall Harmon. Oh, bro. Yeah. Crazy. Studs. Yeah. He's studs. Bro. Yeah. And look, he say one thing people in football, people in the outside world don't understand it as much as like people in the inside the football world do is like there's so many one on one mashups. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, there's times, there's a call made and you're like, oh, I'm chilling on this play. I yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. I just got this area and I'm going to be fine. But there's other times you're like, like, there's times in the game we go, yeah. and it's like, I know everyone's sliding away from me. Mm-hmm. And it's just me and this dude. Yeah. And I have zero help. Zero help. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> zero help. Gotta, in your head, you're just like, I just got to win this one on one. You got to win. You got to win. got to win this one on one. Yeah. It's like, it's like a whole different trigger clicking in your mind really like is. it's like oh shit this is my there's this is my no real right here yeah. Like, there's no yeah. one there to like yeah. everyone's watching you. this match this right here that's right. literally how I feel like if it's man to man I got this guy like damn everybody watching us cause they might think this is the mismatch right here so I gotta yeah. do my you know my best at yeah. it and, you know just just that uh do you think about how do you ever think about how slept on you are throughout your career I do I do I mean but it don't bother me or nothing like that. Is that what you're saying? Like, it don't bother me or nothing because, you know, like, around the league, you know, I hear people, you know, they give me, some people give me my respect. It's just the big media stuff don't give me my respect. But, like, my peers, that's all I, you know, care about. Just my peers know that I go out there and I, you know, you know, put my heart out there and then my teammates and stuff like that. They know they could try to count on me. They know they could trust me and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I still, I'm always going to feel like I'm, Still a top five linebacker in this league, even in year 11.